my God. Is that jealous chords? I'm jealous of the rain. That falls upon your skin. Wow. It's closer than my hands have been. But I'm jealous of you. Cause I wish you. I've never seen you before. Have you seen it before? Yes, I have seen it before. That was so beautiful. Thank you. What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice yeah. to meet you, Chris. Thank you, so nice to meet you. My God. Chris, what's your last name? <laughs> my, my last name is Sebastian. <laughs> oh, is it your brother? It's my brother. <laughs> your brother, really? Yeah. You're his brother? No, you're lying. No, he's, he's my brother. Do you know? No, no, really. <laughs> My name is Chris Sebastian. I'm 31 years old. I'm an all-star. And I'm also Guy Sebastian's brother. So season one, I turned two chairs. I turned Seal and Delta. What is your vision for me? I see a diamond in the rough. I have to go with Seal. She rang my brother after and was like, dude, your brother didn't pick me. What's going on? Like, genuinely upset. I went out in the semi-finals. The next person I'm gonna take with me is Fatai. Yeah, it wasn't quite enough to get through to the grand final. Well done, man. Well done. After doing it in season one, I put out a couple of EPs, and now I'm singing with a group called Peking Duck, which has been one of the highlights of my life. I think that people are gonna question my motives. It's a great point, but the truth is, I haven't done all the things that I want to do yet. I want to reach more people than I than I have already, and and that's the reason why I'm here. And where's you fall in the sort of family of Sebastian? There's, there's four boys. I'm third. And you all sing? Y yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but we're super tight. Like, whoo! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Super tight. But we I mean, I, I've got. Three ballads. Uh, oh, I, I love family and I love brotherhood, and this is so beautiful. I'm so proud of you, bro. Look. Uh, the question is this, though do you think you can teach you what you need to be taught? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've taught Chris as, as much as I have. I've tried to, but he, he's kind of learned everything on his own and obviously never wanted to make it awkward for him. Welcome back. Like, Thank welcome you. back, Chris. It's so beautiful to see you back here nine years later. Yeah. And so much happens in that time. You know, you would have changed and grown so much, like, like I have from the very first season. It was so funny because I said, what do, what do I want to, like, look for this year? And I didn't want any, like, I didn't want to have any expectations. I just wanted to be wowed. 
And I was just wowed in this moment oh, from you so your much. presence and just how gracious you are, just the same way with your brother and so talented. And I know the songs that we could do together. I know how much fun we could have with music. This is where you gotta choose. Please, Chris. I've thought about this a million times and had different conclusions. I think the best decision for me is Kelly. Oh! <laughs> Look after my bro. I promise. I promise. <laughs> oh, such a pleasure. That was a surprise. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Oh, my God. Kill the bro. <laughs> I mean, I just feel really honored to work with both of you artists. I put Chris and Sapphire up against each other for a reason. They trust their instincts when it comes to emotion behind a song. The song that I have given you is on the other sides of this paper. Are we allowed to look at it now? Turn it over! Okay. What are you waiting for? Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sapphire, I'm gonna need you to be a little bit more positive. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a big song. Oh, jeez. That's a big song. The song that Kelly has chosen for Sapphire and myself is Titanium by Sia, which is so high. Listening to Chris, I was very surprised. It's so many different tricks. Now, you're talking to a girl who loves me, some trills and runs. The magic of a run is where you place it. Mm -hmm. If you place it in a way where, like, we haven't heard in a while and you drop it on people, it's literally like, ah! Yeah. You get the reaction that you want. The challenge for them will be where you want to sprinkle all these different flavors. I want to give them space to wow me. You know, both of you guys have this strength that you're, like, just, like, breaking free almost, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. And I feel like if you put that feeling into it, we're gonna knock everybody's heads off. You shout it out, but I can hear what you say. You're talking loud, not saying much. I'm criticized. But all your bullets ricochet You shoot me down, but I get it up Oh, I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose Fire away, fire away Ricochet, take your head Fire away, fire away You shoot me down You're gonna have a tough one here. Thanks. <laughs> First off, I'm really, really grateful that you guys trusted me. Both of y'all shined. Y'all really did. This is really hard for me because I am out of saves. So the artist that I'm taking through into the playoffs is Chris. Wow, uh, congratulations, Chris.
tonight. I just want to take you higher. Throw your hands up in the sky. <laughs> Let's set this party off right. Yee. Pop, pop, it's showtime. Showtime. Guess who's back again? Don't think too hard, might hurt yourself. Known to give the color red the blue. Oh yeah. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. Hey. Put your biggest friend up to the Nine times out of ten, if I was choosing a song, I would choose a ballad, which is the reason why I didn't want to choose a ballad. I, I want to do something that people won't expect. The song that I've chosen for the showdowns is Attention by Charlie Puth. When I'm doing my thing, when I'm on stage, I've normally got either... I'm either playing piano or playing guitar, so I wanted to kind of do, do that a little bit, and no-one's seen me do that yet. It's risky. I might, I might fail hard, but... When you believe it, will believe it, so I need you to believe it. You know, last week, Chris showed us that he can absolutely nail an up-tempo song. He had us eating at the palm of his hands, but now it's the showdowns. He has to bring a whole nother different energy. <laughs> You've been running, 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 throwing that dirt all on my name. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I'd call you up. You've been going wrong, going wrong, going wrong every party in LA. Cause you knew that I knew that I knew that I knew that one. I know that dress is karma, perfume we cry. You got me thinking about when you were mine. Yeah. And now I'm all up on you, what you expect. But you're not coming. You don't want my heart Maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new Yeah, you just want attention I knew from the start You're just making sure I'm never getting over you I think the performance is super professional. It was like watching a professional. You know, obviously, he's got this incredible voice, um, and uh, I, he showed it off to, you know, he showed every aspect of his voice in that performance. And it must be quite difficult doing that in front of your brother. That was terrifying. <laughs> I, I haven't really played guitar much in front of him, so I was, I was definitely worried. Just seeing you, Chris, in that set with all of that production, you know, as a brother, it's something that I've dreamt of for a long time. I mean, just seeing you look like a star, sound like Aww. a star, your runs are just stupid. <laughs> and and I, think, I think also for me, just like, I try and disconnect myself from being your brother. And if I heard your voice, I, I, I would flip out. You're just, you're just Thanks, such man. a great singer. And, uh, and yeah, love you, legend. Hi, hi, baby, won't you come around? Hey, how you doing? Give me a bit of elbow yeah. love here. Hey, Kel. Hey, Chris. How you feeling? We're at the semifinals. That's a weird feeling. You said it's a weird feeling. Why weird? Yeah, I, I mean, I, um, like, I had no expectations coming into this. I didn't know okay. whether it was going to be received well, having a brother on the show. For a really long time, I kind of did feel like I was in Guy's shadow and. I'd, I'd play shows and people would only associate me with him. And I struggled with that for a really long time. Identity's been a real weird thing for me. Like, I love Guy, but like, I've always kind of had to prove myself. Like, I, even just being taken seriously, it's been hard to be taken seriously. 
Um, I felt like you would get me. Because I know this feeling. Can you imagine what it's like being in a group with Beyonce? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would just torture myself in my head, like, well, I can't wear this dress because they're going to say it's like B, or I can't have a song like that because it sounds too much like B. They're going to compare anyways. I, I would be lying if I said, no, it's never bothered me. That's bull. There was a whole decade, if I'm being completely honest, decade that it was like the elephant in the room, but the thing that was constantly be on my shoulder. It was a really validating conversation for me. I'm not the only one who's had to do this. I'm not the only one who's stood in the shadow. Watching you perform, you are so different from yeah. your brother. Yeah. And it's been so great for Australia to see that. This is your opportunity to carve your own path, even with him sitting in that chair down there. I fell by the wayside, like everyone knows. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I was just kidding myself. Oh, every moment I start to replace Cause now that they're gone, all I hear are the words that I needed to say So, before you go Was there something I could have said to make your heart beat better? If only I'd have known you had a storm to The fact that you've kind of showed all different layers and then just in this moment to strip back, it felt like I really saw another element of Chris Sebastian. And I thought that that was what was really cool today. I felt a different grit in you. You are truly extraordinary as Chris. Ridiculous. I'm extremely confident about Chris going up against the competition. The truth is, is that the only competition there is is himself. If you don't believe your magic, who else will? So I have a, a little something for you. Do I open it? Do I open it now? It open it. Wow. Pale blue innocent eyes. Like a child. How old were you on this picture? Uh, four, I reckon, four or five. I have a picture of me when I was four or five. The first time I got up to sing at church. That was, that was my first time too. I'll never forget feeling alive. I just knew I loved to sing. This is the dream. This is everything that I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm always forever grateful to the five-year-old me that even when somebody tells me no, I'm glad that she still exists because she fights for me. <laughs> she fights for the dream. Oh, wow. Look at me now. Um, for as long as I can remember, all I wanted to do is um, just make people feel something, to make people happy. It's why I, I write music. It's the, my only motivation. That was, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at that and it's kind of just, it's kind of just happiness. It's, you know, it's freedom. Yeah. You don't feel that very often when you're an adult. Well. You have to remember the dream through his eyes at all times. Yeah. Dang, I didn't think I was gonna get this emotional. <laughs> Tired of being what you want me to be Feeling so fast under the surface Don't know what you're expecting of me But under the pressure of walking in your shoes Oh, every step that 
I have to say I'm so proud of you and, and I think back to this time where, where we were sitting on the end of my bed, we were both just in tears and, and, and I know you were saying to me, I try everything, everything I try and I'm always compared to you or whatever and, and don't you start, you weirdo, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I, I, I've just watched you grow and just you know, stand on your own two feet during this show. Every time you've performed on the show, it's like insanely good. And, and, and I mean that not just as a brother, but as a coach, as, as a fan. And uh, mate, I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. Okay. We will fly way up high Where the cold wind blows Or in the sun for the people that you know If the situation should keep us separated You know the world won't fall apart And you will free the beautiful bird That's got inside your heart of The Voice 2020 is.